So this video is going to talk about something that genuinely will change the world. And I know I say that all the time, but just watch the video and you'll understand exactly why I've said that. Later today, Google are most likely going to be releasing a model called Nano Banana. Now, this model is essentially the state of the art when it comes to image editing. And the reason that this is so fundamentally different from every other AI release is the fact that what we now have is a system that blends reality with AI. And that has some severe implications, which I'll talk about later, but it certainly is interesting to see exactly how the model can achieve this. So one of the first things that I do want to show you guys is how the model manages multiple subjects. And we did get somewhat of an inkling before this with ChatGPT image, but this image model is on a completely different level. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys seven different examples of where the model excels. And this first example should show you guys just how well the model does at multiple subjects. So right now, if you do want to access this model, you currently can't do that. You need to, you know, use LM Arena and hopefully you do get one of the random models that are Nano Banana. But this multiple subjects one right here just goes to show just how well the model is at compositing two different subjects in the same environment. We can see that, you know, we have the CEO of Microsoft, the CEO of Google, and they're both in the same image. And incredibly, if someone was to ask me if the image on the bottom right, if it was AI generated prior to Nano Banana, I would have had to say, no, this is an image where they were likely on holiday together. And even me, as someone with an eye that is keen for AI images, you could almost say I've been trained to spot them because I spend so much of my time looking at AI content I would argue that it's become incredibly difficult, especially with this nano banana model. Now, you have to understand that the reason that most people could maybe even potentially identify that this image here is AI generated is because of the fact that there are two prominent figures in a location in a random place, and these companies are kind of competing with each other. But what would happen if it was two random individuals on the internet and they were in a location where perhaps maybe they shouldn't be? I mean, the implications for this are genuinely profound. Now, multiple subjects being, you know, placed into an image isn't the only thing. Another use case of this, what we have to look at is the changing angles. Nano Banana, according to this user on Twitter, is very good at changing the camera angles. And this is pretty incredible when we look at two images here. Both of these images, I mean, the left one, I think, and genuinely, I don't even know right now which one is the original. I do think that the left one is the original. But when we do look at the left one compared to the right one, there isn't really a telltale giveaway that the image is AI generated at all. In fact, both of them look like the person literally just moved. And there's no AI generatedness to the image, which is why I say that this is about to change online and the internet in a stark, stark way. Like, I mean, when we think about the implications for having an object and being able to rotate that object, whichever way we do want to, I mean, that kind of image manipulation is, you know, quite unheard of, something out of literally sci-fi movie. So it's super interesting to see. And so when we actually take a look at the implications of this overall, I mean, it's pretty incredible if people can, you know, manipulate images in ways maybe that they should. I'm not going to talk about potential nefarious use cases, but if you're even somewhat creative, you can start to understand that, I don't know, maybe five years from now, 10 years from now, if there are open source versions where you can potentially, you know, edit an image in any way you want of any person, I mean, the possibilities are unlimited and that's not going to be in a good way whatsoever. Now, before we dive into the other section of AI news, if you're working with AI tools, but you're constantly switching tabs, juggling models or hitting paywalls, there's actually a better way. It's called a chat LLM and it's easily the most powerful all-in-one AI platform I've ever used. You get access to every top tier AI model. I'm talking GPT 4.1, Claude 4, Gemini 2.5, rock for all under one roof no more bouncing between platforms but it doesn't just stop there with the deep agent you can do everything build apps with a single prompt generate full documents or pitch decks even launch agents that browse the web and connect to services with deep agent mcp if you need visuals you can get access to cutting edge image and video generation tools if you need code chat lm includes code lm 
a pro-level coding environment powered by multiple models. And if you want to stay organized, you've got projects, built-in task file management systems that integrate directly into your workflow. And the craziest part about all of this is that every single feature is just $10 a month. That's Deep Agent, Code LLM, App LLM, Rock Access, everything for less than a single lunch. If you sign up using my link, you can get started with Chat LLM today. Seriously, stop making it harder than it has to be. Now, here is another use case, which is rather lighthearted, I would say. And this one is photo restoration. I've seen multiple different photo restoration websites online, but I do have to say Nano Banana, this is truly, truly one of the first ones where I just see literally zero imperfections in the image. I mean, it captures all of the nuance, captures all of the motion blur, all of the colors and the richness. I'm not even sure how it gets the colors, but I'm sure that the advanced AI has seen so many images that it would automatically know what to do. And this is something that genuinely surprised me because usually with AI generated images, there are usually some minor imperfections. And remember guys, what I'm saying here is that the reason that this is so profound is the fact that it blurs the reality between AI generated and of course, what happened in real life. This image, once again, like I said, is an image that happened in real life. But because there is now an AI generated version, it's still somewhat based in reality, which kind of blurs the line. And think about that for the future, guys. It's going to have some profound implications. Now, another thing that we can see here, I saw this image from this user on Twitter, and this one stood out to me because this was incredible. I mean, if one of my friends, you know, took a picture and was like, hey, could you believe it? I'm actually sitting here with Trump and they sent me this image. I would genuinely believe them that Trump is there because in this image, there isn't a dead giveaway that Trump isn't there. I mean, even if we look at how whitewashed the image is, like it has some sort of like a like offset, like white balance, and it doesn't look like it was taken in the best lighting. Trump's picture is composited so well that I wouldn't be able to tell that the image is fake. I mean, once again, only because he's such a prominent figure, I would maybe be wondering why are there are those security guards around. But even then, if I used a different picture of someone else, I'm pretty sure it would be very easy to believe that Trump is literally sat there. So this is why this is just absolutely incredible because I mean, we can literally composite humans into our own images, which has once again, profound implications for the rise of social media. One of the biggest problems that's been with social media is that sometimes people, you know, edit pictures, they doctor pictures, and we have a real trouble, troubling time of figuring out what is real versus what is fake. And now imagine if you couldn't put Trump literally, you know, sat next to you without any sort of implications or legality, how is the internet going to remain stable as a source of verified information moving forward? This is definitely a big issue. I'm not going to get into politics, but I will say that having prominent figures doing things they weren't doing certainly isn't going to help in any way. Now, once again, in a more lighthearted use case, this is one that I really do like. This is scene building. So this user on Twitter spoke about how because you have character consistency, when you can move a character from one location to another, you can add things into their hands and remove things from their hands. This allows for the production of films with multiple shots very, very quickly. And we can see that, like I said before, there isn't really any giveaway that this is AI at all. There's no, you know, six fingers. There's no completely smooth skin. You have the base image, which is a completely real person based in reality. And of course the same location. And now that we have shot one and shot two, I would argue that those, you know, look incredibly real. There's nothing that gives away to me personally that those are AI images. So I think for those of you who are more on the creative side, you're about to enter an area where things are going to get really, really fun. As long as you have one or two shots that you really want to take to the next level. I mean, imagine you didn't get the perfect shot, you know? you're filming something, you meant to get a shot of someone holding a gun or someone holding a shovel or something with a simple text prompt, you can immediately change that scene builder. I mean, that's going to change like you having to go out and film for the entire day. You could maybe get like a few base plate images and then the rest of that entire scene could be completely AI generated. I mean, it really it is incredible when we start to think about the implications of this. Now, there's also another one by this user on Twitter as well. And this one really did shock me. 
but I've included this one for a very specific reason, okay? So the image on the left is the base truth and the image on the right is the image where they were asked to add something to the image and we can see it did it pretty, pretty well. But I did manage to find finally a use case slash an image where we can actually start to see where there are some AI generated artifacts in those images. And the reason I'm saying this is because you'll have to increasingly become more aware of this in the future. And if you aren't aware, you may be subject to, you know, looking at false images and falling for whatever story someone wants you to buy. So what we can see here, if we actually do take a look and we actually do zoom in, we can actually see that the text on various different things is still currently something that AI struggles with. I'm not sure when this issue is going to get solved. For now, luckily it isn't fixed yet, but for now, if you do zoom in to many different things, the text will be completely blurred. And this is something that is a dead giveaway for AI generated images. And it will be very, very hard to do this because when you're online, most people do not dig beyond the surface level of images. Most people just scroll headlines, and they scroll images and they don't dive into that. So I do believe that, you know, it's still going to be an issue. But if there is a story that you are considering, this right now is the only way that I personally know to judge whether the image is AI generated or not. Now I will say that Google, they are probably one of the most responsible companies out there when it comes to developing safe AI. So it's quite likely those images will retain those watermarks. But for those who genuinely want to, you know, all individuals online, they will probably go to the extent of removing those watermarks. So with that being said, like I said before, that's why I believe that this will genuinely change everything because if someone can easily change what's going on during the day at shopping, I mean, it's going to be very hard to believe absolutely anything you see online, especially since the fact that those AI generated images are now going to be based in reality. And the only real thing that you're going to have to judge is whether or not that particular, you know, thing that's happening has been composited in or it's just been AI generated in. So, I mean, we are truly going to enter the age of misinformation where I think that most people will not believe anything they see online. With that being said, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next